Hey guys, we are going to be doing a 20 minute upper body workout today. It's gonna to be standing the entire time. So if you have trouble getting down to the floor, this one's a good one for you. We are using a bit of, we're using some dumbbells. I've got some ones and twos. It is going to be 45 seconds on when you're doing an exercise. So it's gonna burn out the arms pretty quickly, a bit more endurance. So I'd go something for slightly lighter. However, if you wanna lift a bit heavier, grab something heavier and then have some lighter ones next to you. If you don't have any dumbbells, you can use some cans or something instead, or even like I don't know, some drink bottles, whatever you've got lying around. However, if you don't even have that, a lot of these exercises will burn no matter what. So just try and hold it up the whole time, no matter what it is. If you've got everything ready, let's get started. Alrighty team, just to get a little bit warm, the next few seconds you start rolling the shoulders up and back. Our first exercise is bicep curls. We all know how to do a bicep curl. Give yourself a twist, a roll, shake it out. If you need to warm up a little, little bit longer, make sure you do a warm up video. Let's grab our dumbbells and get started. So, your hands are going to be facing forward. We're going to bicep curl in and lower away. The rest of your body, I want to have a soft bend in those knees. The pelvis is tucked under, you don't want it to be squeezed forward but you just don't want it to be sticking out in the lower back. The ribs and hips are connected. Breathe out on the way up, in on the way down. Now, as you bring those arms up, sides, you wanna bring them about 90% of the way. If you bring them any further, what's gonna happen is your shoulder's gonna take over rather than the biceps still switching. Good, we're doing each exercise one time. Each exercise goes once, and there's 20 exercises. There's a cat, oh my God. I hope that's not on camera. Two and one. 15 second rest. Have a moment, pop the dumbbells down if you need. Your next exercise, I might grab the ones for this one because it's gonna hurt. You're gonna bring them up to a 90 degree angle. You're gonna pulse it up and up, up. Ooh, all right, let's go. Dumbbells here, up. Trying to keep those elbows as tight as you can so you don't want them flaring out and you pulse up. Even if it's a tiny bit, you want to think rapid in the entire time. It will burn more of your shoulders than your biceps if that was just getting a bit. 30 seconds to go. Ooh, even my back's firing up. Ooh, the triceps a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. 20 more. that core, this is the time where it will start to flare back. 10 seconds. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Ow. Okay, next time I'm gonna go back to my heavy. Uh, frontal raise and lateral raise. So you're going out to the side, up to the front, out to the side, and front. Five seconds, hold shoulders back. Again, stand tall, soft bend in between. In. When you go to the front, I want you to turn the top of your fist so the top of your fist is to the ceiling. Rotate through the shoulder, pull it back. Side and front. Hi, kitty. Use that breath. Now, you may find you can go a little bit heavier, but you don't want to be using your body to swing it up. You're just using momentum then. You really want to get to the shoulder. Another little thing, you want to think full shoulders in and down. You don't want your neck to suddenly disappear. Good work. Bracing that core. Two. And one. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the my heavy ones down again, grab onto my ones. A little stopping over. This one, we're holding our arms up for a really long time. You're gonna hold your arms out to that lateral raise. You're gonna sweep them to your frontal, out to your lateral. So, out to the side, pull the shoulders in and down. Sweep them forward. And out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Forward. And back, keeping those arms nice and straight. Twenty more. As you get tired, this may start to happen. Your arms may start to drop. Roll down, reset, come back up. As I told you before, dumbbells may not be totally necessary. This will burn even without them. Good. Ow, okay. I'm gonna go back to my heavy one. There's a lot of gap I'm down, I'm sorry. Give the one set, that's totally fine. You're gonna to bring your hands up nice and high. You're gonna bring the elbows in tight to your waist. 
hands are facing up towards the sky, deep breath in. As you breathe out, press the arms up through the head, slowly bring them in and down, feel your lats pull in. Deep breath in, breathe out. Oh my God, my shoulder keeps clicking. So it's 30 seconds to go. Now one thing, as I've said before, back will go. Particularly as you start going heavy, a lot of people start pushing out and pushing their stomach out. You want to think, pull in the whole time. Sweet. And in. My shoulder's dying, man. Ow! Alright. Five seconds to go. Three, two. All right, more shoulders. Grabbing onto your dumbbell. You're going for sore overhead presses. So you're going soaring them. Sore, 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 sore. You may want to get rid of your dumbbell to see how you feel. Feet underneath hips. Bring those hands up. Let's soar, soar. 40. Good. Your body will go with it a little bit. You're to try and brace it as much as you can. I'm going for a narrow one, not a wide one. Keep the elbows tight. You should be on fire by now. Oh, keep the shoulders down. Try not let the neck take over. 10 seconds. Good. Four, three, two, one. Ouch. All right, we're going for a single arm bent over a row. So, you're gonna have one of your dumbbells for this one. You're gonna lean forward, opposite leg forward. I've got this in my right hand with my left foot forward. Step the other leg back. You're gonna lean forward. You may wanna find something to hold onto. From here, you're rowing up the arm, bringing it all the way down. Row up towards the hip and lower. When you bring the arm up, you wanna think elbow in tight. You don't wanna let it pop out to the side. And that will help bring the shoulder blade in and across to your spine. Brace the core, pull the back in and down. It doesn't even make sense. Why I think about you. It was only Good one work. night, only that time, and it's not my stuff. to go. I caught up in the middle like this. But I'm gonna die. keeps clicking, everything's clicking today. Have a rest. Your next one, you're gonna stay in the same position. You're gonna hold your hand up nice and high. Extend the hand out to meet the tricep and then bring it back in. Extend and bend. The goal is to keep the tricep nice and high so the biceps pinch your rib cage. Let's go. Hinge forward, bring it in. Extend it back, slowly bring it in. See how I'm not letting my elbow drop down? You wanna keep it up in your head. Extend. And keep that wrist nice and long. As you get tired, you may find that your back will start to round. Just have a moment, reset yourself, roll the shoulders back, keep the core pulling in. Ten seconds to go. Stand up, swap the dumbbell to the other hand. We have the rows on the other side, then the tricep position. Just wanna All right, leaning forward, right foot forward, left foot back. Hinge up and over, let's row it up. Slowly bring it down. Remember, I'm pulling the core in. Keeping the shoulders and hips square as well. So as you row the hand up, you don't want to let the shoulders and the back twist. You want to keep it even the whole time. Shoulders are staying stacked. Oh, see, I found myself rounding a little. Sometimes it's hard to notice. Just checking with yourself every few seconds. And rest. Ooh, I didn't have my glute a little bit. Tricep extension, same side. Remembering to keep that bicep pinned high. Arm stays where it is. 
forearm comes to the top of the arm, lower down. Oh, I forgot to turn my watch on. Damn it. Okay. Hold it up. Extend. And back. Have that moment to hold it there. Don't swing through too quickly. Have that moment to hold it at the top of the tricep extension, bring your weight in. Ten times past the hip. Oh, okay. You're going to get onto your light dumbbells for this next round. You're going to have your feet directly underneath your hips. You're going for tricep runners. Again, pin the biceps in nice and tight. You're running the arms through in a hinged position. All right, leaning back, pull the core in, pin the biceps in. Let's run, run, run. Brace the entire body, pull the core in, pull the back shoulder, pull the that left arm, whichever arm you did just before, should be firing up like crazy at the moment. Mine is. Twelve more. Ooh. Listen to what I say, don't do what I do. I get tired, things go out the window. Ow! That left arm is stuffed. Alright, next one you're going to hold your hands up, we're going for scarecrows. So you're going to bring your hands all the way up nice and high into the two 90 degree positions, in line with the shoulders. 90 degree positions. From here you're dropping one arm down. Bring it up, drop the other one, bring it up. As you do this, you don't want to let that shoulder come forward, you want to keep it back. We're working that internal and external rotation in the shoulder joint. Elbows stay nice and high, don't let them drop down. Feeling it rotate, brace the rest of the body, same as that. Alright, next one. I'm actually going to get rid of my dumbbells for this one because it hurts without. But you can use it if you like. So, I'm going to put my dumbbells down. If you want to make it really hard, use the dumbbells. You're going to bring the arms up back to that scarecrow, like 1990 goal post position. You're going to bring the hands together. I'm sorry if I squeeze the microphone. Open up. Squeeze. Open. Squeeze. And the goal is to keep those elbows up in line with the shoulders. We're not letting them drop down to the chest. And you're trying to get the elbows to touch. If you've got a larger chest, you may struggle to do this, but that's the feeling you want, to feel those pecs. Squeeze in pec close. Squeeze. Squeeze. Oh, have a rest. Oh, all right. We've got prayer pulses next. You're going to keep those arms nice and tight. Pulse it up and down. All right, we have four, three, two. Bring those hands together. Elbows touching. Pulse, pulse, pulse. If you'd like it harder, again, you can use those dumbbells. But if your elbows are doing this and you've got those dumbbells, it's not the same thing. Squeeze and hold that in. Good work. Oh, this sucks. So much, I hate this exercise. Ooh. Trying to get those hands to the sky. Oh, gotta give myself a shake. Repeat, this sucks. Ow. 10 seconds. Oh, three, two, four. Ah, oh, front of the shoulders and the pecs are dying. All right, you're going to go for your heavier dumbbells. You're going to go for a reverse pec fly. Ooh, I'm going to go to the 
side. So create that W shape with the arms. The arms are softly bent. You're going to hinge yourself forward. From here, you're squeezing into your back. Squeeze into your back, lower down. So a lot of people think it's up into the top of the shoulders. You want to keep that W shape. Squeeze straight back, come forward. And all we're doing is hinging forward, getting gravity to do. Make this a little bit more challenging for us and get us to work the right muscles. Feel those shoulder blades squeezing together and slowly lower down. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my light dotting balls for the next one. Sorry for all the chop and change. It just hurts. You don't have to do it. You can stick with the same ones the whole time. I just suck in the upper body. So, forearms forward. Pin the elbows to your waist. You are opening, squeezing back as far as you can. Feel the shoulder blades pull back. Come forward, squeeze, pull it back to the shoulder blades and back. Come forward, move the back of the shoulder. Keeping those hands nice and flat on that 90 degree angle. Good, 20 more. Bueno, yo estaba ahí con ella en el club y me estaba diciendo unas cosas. Estamos grabando. Almost there. Five seconds. Two. Oh, okay. Next one, we're going for tray arms. So your arms are in that same position, except you're going to hold that squeeze at the back. So your arms are on a slight diagonal. From here, you're sending one hand away in, other hand away in. I call them tray arms because it looks like you're holding two trays of drinks. Send it away in. The last 10 seconds, we are going to pick up the pace. I want you to keep the hand nice and flat. I don't want to see anyone's hands lengthen away and then bend back in so it's a bicep curl. Keep it flat, keep the shoulder, forearm firing the entire time. And another thing that happens is when these hands start to go forward, the elbows start to flare out. Keep the elbows pinning in, the shoulders pinning back. 15, on the last 10, we're going to speed it up. Let's speed it up. Swap, swap, swap. Swap. This is where it starts to hurt. <laughs> Two and okay, guys. Our next exercise we're going to be bent over a little bit. So push the hips back, brace the core, lengthen the spine. You're going to reach your arms up behind you, have a little squeeze there, reach the arms in, turn the palms towards one another, reach overhead, but hold the hinge the whole time. Let's go. Hinge back. You're going to sweep the arms, pulse them up, hit that tricep, then reach overhead. Sweep back and up. Back and up. 30 seconds to go. Now, if you feel this in your lower back at all, it's probably because you're not bracing your core enough. So pull the core in, lengthen the back. Really taking your time here. And the palm in. We're almost there, 10 seconds to go. Look, I just can't be passive. What you got right there is magic. Sending dirty pictures while I'm driving, stuck in traffic. Why you such a tease? Go ahead and let me have Ooh. it. God took his time holding you. All right, so we're going to hold our arms up to the side this time. Hold them up. You can use dumbbells or use your light ones, I would recommend. Pulse it up and down. Oh, shake yourself out. You need to pull the core in on this one. Roll the shoulders back, stand tall. Let's go. Pulse. Good, so for this one, I'm really feeling my back pulling in down. I know I say that all the time, but those shoulder blades pulling in. If you let them come forward, the shoulders all around. We're working the posture, we're working into the tops of the shoulders to keep the hands where they are. Working the forearms to hold the dumbbells in those hands. Everything's working here. Take your time. Good work, you have 15 to go. The back go 10 more. Four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, guys. One more exercise and then we are done. I'm going to get my heavy one. 
going for an upright row. So I'm going to hit this this way. You're going to hinge the hips back, softly bend through the knees, explode up, squeeze the hands up nice and high. Elbows are pointing up. So hinging forward and forward. Just a nice shoulder exercise. Burning out the arms. So you can use something slightly heavier. You may need to lean a little less. You're going to squeeze up, hold it for a moment, and then come back down in control. Now. Try not let your arms just drop. Really focus on squeezing. You're in control of everything here. We have three, two, and one. Oh, okay. Put the dumbbells down. Give the shoulders a roll. Use up a little stretch. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you for joining me for that upper body workout. My shoulders are absolute toast. I'm sure yours are as well. As always, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you're new here. Comment anything that you'd like me to do next, any suggestions you might have. And make sure you're following me on socials, such as Instagram, because um, I do post a lot of stuff there as well. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.